Well, welcome back. We're going to pick up where we left off, and that is moving into Chapter 4 of Wheeler's Security Risk Management book, the most excellent, of course. And we're going to be looking at risk profiling here. And so we're going to, we've talked about this a bit, this idea of going out and looking at resources or assets and making, um, uh, collecting information on them to know who you are, uh, to know what assets are actually available that could potentially be attacked. And it's actually, like a lot of things, much more difficult to do than you might suspect. So uh, these are the uh, kind of lesson objectives that we're going to uh, uh, start with. We're going to talk about uh, some common definitions that you need to understand to be able uh, to do resource profiling. We'll then get into what's in a questionnaire that you might put out to collect security resources within an organization. And as you know, within the textbook, Appendix A has a full resourcing profile uh, questionnaire that you can look at. And you should probably spend a little bit of time looking at that before you get too deep into chapter four. Once we get into uh, um, uh, what the right questions are, we're then going to move into um, what an asset is. It's actually, as I said, harder than you might think. And then we'll move into that final part of uh, uh, doing a risk appetite or a risk threshold for an organization. All right, well, let's start, and this video, it's going to be the first of four, is going to really focus just on those core definitions. So let's start off with risk sensitivity. So we're in risk sensitivity, we're looking at a resource or an asset, and we're looking at what's the tolerance for risk exposure. It may be um, that it has a very high tolerance before a compromise is going to occur, or it may be that it's very small. Once you're in, you're in, and then all of a sudden, everything happens. And so, for example, it may be that if you break into the system, you can only see one record, or it may be that you break into the system and you can see a billion records. Those have different risk sensitivity uh, associated with them. Risk tolerance is going to be the acceptable range of risk exposure. Is it low, medium, or high associated with a uh, particular resource and a potential uh, a particular uh, organization? And then risk threshold is going to be the highest level of exposure for a given resource. And it's going to be inversely proportional to risk sensitivity. And you can kind of see this um, in the uh, 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 chart below. Um, so if for the, the a drug research server, the risk sensitivity is high. So if it's inversely related, that means the risk threshold is going to be low. Um, if a uh, printer in a mail room, the risk sensitivity is low, the risk threshold is high. In other words, we can take a lot of risk associated with that printer in the mail room. And so that's the kind of relationship between those. And the risk tolerance is typically um, uh, a range uh, associated with it. And typically, whatever the highest value of that risk tolerance is going to be, um, the highest value of that is going to be your risk threshold. So as you can see, for the drug research server, the tolerance is low, the threshold is low. The printer, the tolerance is high, the threshold is high. They're related to each other. All right, risk impact is going to be the process of assessing the probabilities and consequences of risk events that occur. And the results of these assessments are then used to prioritize risk and establish the most to least critical uh, importance ranking. So this gives you an example uh, that you've seen before in terms of um, uh, uh, relating that risk exposure, which is going to be impact times uh, likelihood against the control activities that are uh, being used. And then you see four different verbs in terms of improve, monitor, accept, or reduce, and then that kind of monitor range, one using risk, the other using controls uh, to deal with that. Um, transitive risk is when you have a problem with one system, it actually trans first that risk onto another system. We saw that in the target break-in where there was a problem with a third-party vendor and point-of-sales device that ended up leading to a compromise of the core uh, business systems associated with target and with credit card numbers. And so transitive risk is that risk one system imposes uh, on another. All right, so what we're going to be <laughs> doing over the next couple of videos is getting into and looking at um, the uh, 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 looking at creating a resource list, what types of data would we collect 
uh, on that and then tying that back into making some determinations on risk sensitivity, tolerance, and threshold, looking at are there regulatory requirements associated with this or are there business requirements associated with this. So that's what we're, we're going to uh, start doing in this next video, uh, which we're going to pick up uh, next time around, is going to look at what is a resource. So keep on studying, keep on learning. This is the first of four videos covering Chapter 4, and we'll pick up on the next video looking at what is a resource or an asset.